What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Hotshot coming back with you. If you're interested in trucking, making money, be successful, make sure you hit that like button and make sure you ding the notification bell so you get notified when we drop knowledge. Now let's roll on into this content. What's going on with my road hammers? So today I'm gonna do a um we're gonna do a response, but a, not a full response. Like I'm not gonna show the video and talk about it and all that, but we're gonna we are gonna talk about the load miser hot shot to send my video. Um because apparently a lot of us that are moving up to semis have gotten the new hot shot people worried that the hot shot market is going to be extinct like it, that it's in trouble so part of that may or may not be true uh, I'm not going to sit here and tell you that all hot shots are going to fail I'm not going to tell you that if you drive a pickup truck you're not going to survive I'm not going to tell you if you buy a semi that it's because you don't know what you're doing. Like, that's not what goes on here. So, let's talk about, first of all, Load Miser and his videos. Load Miser's my boy. Love him to death. Yeah, he's cool. There's nothing wrong with him. So, and what he's uh, experiencing right now is what I have said multiple times in my videos. He is living the car haulers industry. He, he's car hauling now. He's hauling three cars with a wedge around the country. Doing very well. Now, the problem with going back and forth or even talking like that is he is referencing freight but comparing it to what he's doing right now in cars and you cannot do it cars you're going to get a lot a lot of repeat business customers dealers direct freight yes and no you can if you stay local like, if I want to run Delaware, Jersey, Pennsylvania, then I can run local stuff. Now, I, I could, I guess, but I'm up here in Buffalo, New York now. I mean, I guess I could get a direct up here going back home, vice versa. But normally, when you do directs, you keep them in your area. And when it comes to freight, unless you have multiple trucks or you're not really doing anything else, it's hard for people to grasp the concept of direct, using you direct, because they, it's all about efficiency. So let's say I have five loads that need moved. One needs to go to Jersey, one needs to go to Georgia, one goes to Tennessee, and then we got two other Midwest states. Well, it's easier for me to send an email to Joho Joho Logistics, the brokerage, and say, I got these, can you get them covered? Rather than call Hotshot, call Load Miser, call Chris, call whoever and call South Georgia. Now, you see what just happened there? That five minute email turned into probably two hours of phone calls, you know, um, roughly. So companies, that's why they use brokers. Um, now what happens is the brokers get greedy and when the load doesn't get moved because they're trying to hold back, that's where the problem lies. But unless you are, like, where I'm leased on now, we're a seven-truck fleet. So, 
in all reality, if we all wanted to get together, we could, you know, knock out and run for one customer. Because we would, could always have trucks, you know what I mean, crisscrossing back and forth. And that makes it better appearance, you know. Um, now me, just as DM trucking, I could not make that work, you know. So, these people are blowing me up. So that that's kind of what brokers experience. That that's the whole problem with getting direct customers. And like I, I have a couple direct customers and with cars. You know, but it was difficult because unless you're working from dealer to auction like somebody you know charges to give you the information for you you can't really take care of all the cars like i have a guy my range rover guy um that he is uh he sends them all over the country he sends them to florida sends them to texas sends them to buffalo you know and all that and that i kept up with it all but it got tough and at times it did cost me money, but that was fine because he paid very well and he took care of me very, very well. So in this video, he says, "You're mo if you're moving up, you're moving up for the wrong reason is what he says. So he he's thinking that um, you shouldn't move up unless you have an abundance of customers. Well, oh, hold on, that was a broker. But the reason I moved up to a semi is because I could not put all the weight um, that I wanted to haul on my pickup truck. Like I had a capacity issue. I could not put dualies on the number one position. Um, and then, you know, I got into that and I, I just started looking around and that's how I ended up in the drive van. Not because cars were failing, um, not because as a hot shot I wasn't making a living, but I wanted something different. Like, I get bored easy. That's a problem with me. So, the, you know, the people are saying that if you go to a semi, you're going to fail. You're going to fail because you're in a semi. Look, it, it's this simple. You're going to fail in a hot shot. You're going to fail in a semi if you're going to fail. Like, if you've made, through four seasons, if you've made a full year in a hot shot, then you probably got a good idea what, and I know I'm saying this isn't going to eat my, eat my feet because there's some people that even after three years are just grabbing straws and making it work. But for the most part, if you, um, you made it through and you have money, like if you're able to just go out and buy one, You've obviously done something correct. Um, so, to to say that you buy a semi, you're setting yourself up, you're getting into more debt. That that's not the case. I'm in less debt with a semi than I was with a a hot shot. And what you know kind of throws that off is. You can't really buy an old, and I mean like an older, um, pickup truck and do the same thing as these new pickup trucks do. You, you just can't do it. Trucks don't work that way. Now, I could buy an old semi and do the same as this brand new Kenworth or this brand new um, you know, Western Star over here. Like, that's possible. So... They haven't made semis um, different capacity-wise in 20 or 30 years. Pickups, they do. So, 
you have to keep up with the Joneses in a hot shot setup, in my opinion. It's 100% my opinion. You got to keep up with the Joneses or you're limited. That's not the case in a semi, you know? Um, what is this guy doing here? He don't know. So, you know, if you're, you're tired of living in a pickup truck, you're tired of chasing loads under 9,000 pounds, 10,000 pounds. Um, you know, get, get a big truck. Get a big truck. Just because we change does not mean the industry's dying. There's still money in Hot Shots, but Hot Shot, I'm telling you guys, and I've told you for years, it's a startup. Like, you can only grow so far in a hot shot and load miser he's seen that he went from his flatbed to cars because flatbed was not working flatbed freight wasn't working for him cars are working you know and he's using load board freight he's doing load board and he's doing uh you know direct customers he doesn't have just one or the other you know so Guys, don't let what we do discourage your future plans. And all any of us are is educations and opinions. There's not one YouTuber, myself included, that I would let talk me out of anything. If you've been working on something, let's say you've been working on getting a trucking company together for eight months don't let me move into a semi you know stop you if you're look you've been working on getting a semi don't let load misers opinion on semis stop you like that's not what we're here for as much as and load misers not that guy but as much as a lot of youtubers would think we're not educational, we're directive. Like, some YouTubers want to feel like what they say is all that matters and all that goes, you know? And it's not. I'm education. Loadmiser's education. I'm opinionated. Loadmiser's opinionated. You know, that's the way it works. So, guys, you can survive in a big, in a hot shot. You will not expand and get rich in a hot shot you're not going to do it because the tr the trucking industry is catered to big trucks it's catered to 40k loads it's catered to 53 foot drive vans with a swing door for that market like i get a 48 i'm limited i get a roll door i'm limited do you know why because it's catered so to do what you feel is best. Um, if you're if you're in a Texas oil field and you can get work in Odessa and Midland, get a hot shot. If you want to haul cars local in Detroit, get a hot shot. If you want to run Detroit to Texas, get a big truck. See where I'm going here? You want to run the Northeast for cars, get a hot shot. You want to run freight in the Northeast, get a big truck. You know, um, it, it's just all about capacity, where you're at. The people fail every day. And I'm going to put this into a perspective that I know everyone understands. Everybody, every town has this building. There's a building somewhere in your town that you've seen 10 stores, 10 restaurants, 20 different businesses go through. And they all fail. They all fail. But there's a place right next door that's been there 20 years. Doing the same thing. You know, so it's just all about individualized business. Now, if you are 
in a hot shot. Let's say you bought a brand new hot shot. You've been running three months and you're not making enough money so you want to buy a semi. A semi is not your solution. That's the person that I feel he is more talking to that needs to get with somebody and actually figure out a business model. Like once you are established and making money in trucking, that's when you should entertain going up. You don't go up in desperation, in my opinion. So you go up because you can go up, you can afford to go up, you know, it works. So uh, that's just my opinion on the whole, the, the hot shot to semi. Um, you know, and some people, load mines are, I may or may not have had this, but some people, you know, kind of get triggered with certain stuff and act off. I don't think load miser was that situation. I, I just don't, but not saying it wasn't. So, um, guys, take what we say with a grain of salt. We're not your financial advisor. We're not your business advisor. We should not be your end all be all. We should be another step in your research process. So let me know in the comments what you guys think. Hot shot or semi? What are you running? And do you plan on staying there? Like, share, subscribe. Hit that ding ding. And I will see you tomorrow. Peace.